The United States knows no limits regarding military technology, which its latest innovation has proved. Developed with groundbreaking technology and advanced features, this missile is rewriting the rules of military aviation. Join us as we uncover the secrets behind this revolutionary weapon, and stay till the end to find out how some incredible U.S. military innovations can reshape the future of warfare. The U.S. has introduced its new hypersonic missile, perfectly timed for the global situation. However, it isn't alone. Russia and China are also making advanced weapons, like Russia's Kinzhal missile. It's super fast, travels 1,200 miles, and can carry both conventional and nuclear warheads. Launched from aircraft like the MiG-31K or the modified Su-34, the Kinzhal targets both stationary and moving objects, like aircraft carriers. Although based on the older Iskander missile, it's been upgraded for air launching, showcasing Russia's military innovation. While excited for its speed, the Kinzhal relies on standard ballistic missile technology at higher velocities. Its range varies based on the launching aircraft, but typically falls between 460 to 480 kilometers once airborne. Fully operational since December 2017, President Vladimir Putin highlighted it as one of Russia's most powerful weapons in March 2018. Despite being developed in 2017, the Kinzhal wasn't publicly announced until August 2019, but it swiftly showcased its strength with launches in places like the Arctic and Syria. Its ability to hit targets at super high speeds shows its effectiveness in modern warfare. Another standout feature of the Kinzhal is its adaptability to various aircraft, enhancing its strategic value on the battlefield. By February 2019, within a year of operation, Kinzhal armed aircraft had completed about 89 missions over the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea. Its deployment continued with launches in Syria by June 2021, highlighting its ongoing impact on global conflicts. To counter Russia's strong missile threats, United States defense officials are taking action. They've realized their current radar systems aren't good enough for spotting and tracking hypersonic weapons. In March 2022, President Joe Biden acknowledged Russia's use of hypersonic missiles in Ukraine, showing they're tough to stop. This news has pushed the U.S. to address the problem. Meanwhile, Chinese experts have looked closely at Russia's missile and said it's not hypersonic because it flies in a straight line, making it easier to stop. They've also questioned if it's accurate enough. China's response has been to upgrade its PL-15 missile, which can spot and hit targets using radar. Now that's some powerful stuff. The PL-15 has been used by China's Air Force since about 2015 on planes like the Chengdu J-10C, Shenyang J-16, and Chenggu J-20. It's better than the older PL-12 missile, boosting China's air power. In 2017, the U.S. started making the AM-260JM missile to fight the PL-15, which should be ready by the end of 2024. The AM-260JM missile is bigger than before, with fins made for stealth planes. It uses special rocket fuel to go super fast over Mach 4 and fly over 200 kilometers. It may not fly as far as other missiles like the Meteor, but it's quicker. It has a small radar to find its target and talk to other planes while flying. China has shown a version of the PL-15 missile called PL-15E for sale at an air show in 2021. It's not as good as the one China uses itself, flying up to 145 kilometers. It's like how China has a different version of the SD-10 missile for sale. This shows China is ready to offer different missiles for different needs. With big changes happening, everyone's watching the United States to see what they'll do next. The way air battles work might change, and every move from the U.S. could make a big difference in this important game. Despite competition, the U.S. has always been strong. 
thanks to its powerful AIM-120 and AIM-9 missiles, which have been important since 1991 and 1956, and they've been upgraded over time. Knowing how important it is, the US is investing in new weapons for air battles. They're putting a lot of money and effort into making hypersonic missiles, which will be small but strong, perfect for stealth planes, and will keep the US in control of the sky. Soon, the world will see six new powerful weapons that will change military tactics. The first is the AM-260 Joint Advanced Tactical Missile made by Lockheed Martin. It's designed to hit faraway targets, better than the missiles used now. The Department of Defense thinks it's the most important new air weapon, getting more attention and money than other projects. It's different from another missile project called the Long Range Engagement Weapon. The AM-260 program began in 2017 as a response to other countries' development of long-range missiles, like China's PL-15. Initially, it's set to be used in the U.S. Air Force F-22 Raptor and the U.S. Navy F-A-18 EF Super Hornet, then later in the F-35, Lightning II, and F-15 EX Eagle II. Testing began around April 2020 and is ongoing, but deployment isn't around the corner. They aim to produce more AIM-260 missiles than the older AIM-120 by 2026. The missile's development has been highly secretive, with a special vault constructed at Hill AFB in 2020. It's designed to be similar in size to the AIM-120 for compatibility with existing platforms like the F-22 Raptor and is expected to have a longer range, possibly over 100 miles. Production is set to start this year, with the possibility of using it on unmanned aircraft. Testing with actual firing is planned to start in the summer of 2024. Next up is the Long Range Engagement Weapon, a new concept from the US Air Force for a missile capable of hitting distant, unseen targets, similar to the AM-260 program. Illustrations show a big missile with two parts launched from planes like the F-22 Raptor. But it might be too big for the F-22 or F-35, and could work better on planes like the F-15EX Eagle II or B-21 Raider. Raytheon is responsible for making this missile, different from Lockheed Martin's AIM-260 JTM missile. The Paragon Air-to-Air -air missile comes third on the list. Managed by Tubatak Sage in Turkey under the GW Tug program, it aims to produce four missile variants deployable from F-16s and future Turkish aircraft like the Herjets and TFX. These locally manufactured missiles, including Baz Dogan for short-range heat-seeking and Gok Dogan for long-range radar homing, were successfully flight-tested in 2018. They're intended to replace the AIM-9 Sidewinder and AIM-120 AMRAM on Turkish fighter planes and are planned for use on Turkish-made drones such as Bayraktar, Akinci, and Bayraktar, Kizilelma. Moving on, we have the Modular Advanced Missile, which addresses the need for precision weapons to counter advanced enemy defenses. With current weapons dating back to the 1990s and early 2000 Iwo US, the U.S. Air Force faces challenges from increasingly sophisticated adversaries. General Mark D. Kelly stresses the importance of modernizing weapons to match the capabilities of advanced aircraft like the F-22, F-35, and B-2, which possess strong, advanced sensors. MAM aims to enhance the striking power of these modern planes. Continuing our list, Lockheed Martin's CUDA is a standout in missile technology, developed for the United States Air Force to enhance long-range air-to-air capabilities. Unlike traditional missiles, it doesn't use explosives, but instead employs a precise technique called hit-to-kill, ensuring direct target impact without an explosion. This makes it lighter and more efficient. Talk about military advancements. The missile was showcased in a U.S. Air Force magazine in November 2012, and official discussions began in January and February 2017, led by General Herbert J. Carlyle of the USA. 
Last but not least, we have the long-range air-to-air missile, represented by the AGM-158 CLRS-ZM, which is a significant advancement. Developed by DARPA for the United States Air Force and Navy, it's an upgrade from the AGM-1B Jace SM, designed to improve precision targeting. The LRASM, designated AGM-158C in 2015, stands out for its autonomous targeting capability, able to identify and engage moving ships independently without GPS. It employs advanced features to evade enemy defenses and can coordinate attacks with multiple LRASMs while avoiding friendly vessels. What an incredible beast! It can be launched from ships or aircraft like the B-1 Lancer, with potential future deployment from submarines. There's even talk of repurposing the LRASM for land attacks by downsizing its warhead and expanding its range while maintaining precision. America is leading the way with these six powerful weapons, keeping its skies safe. Even when faced with challenges, the US keeps pushing forward with new tech to stay strong in the air. These advances mark a big change in how wars are fought with super-fast missiles and top-notch air systems. Now, tell us, which missile impressed you the most? And what do you think these advancements mean for the future of aerial warfare? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more interesting content. Thank you for watching.